What's up, family? Yeah, so this fuckboy who killed an elderly man on Facebook Live this past Sunday killed himself. Goes like this, y'all. Steve Stevens, who allegedly killed 74-year-old Cleveland man Robert Goodwin Sr. and broadcast the wrenching footage on Facebook, killed himself after a brief pursuit by police in Erie, Pennsylvania on Tuesday. Pennsylvania State Police said in a tweet. The broadcast of the seemingly random killing resulted in a massive manhunt by Cleveland police and other law enforcement agencies, which swept the city in search of Stevens but failed to immediately locate him. Officials, including Cleveland Police Chief Calvin Williams and Mayor Frank Jackson said that there was a $50,000 reward for any information leading to Stevens' arrest. Police had been on the lookout for Stevens in a number of states, including New York, Pennsylvania, Indiana, and Michigan, according to the Associated Press. Members of Gooden's family gave a tearful interview to Cleveland station WOIO, and photos of the victim were widely spread online to, in tribute to his life. This man here was a good man, son Robert Goodwin Jr. said. I just hate that he's gone. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's not real. I feel like my heart's gonna stop, another family member added. While Stevens said he had murdered up to 15 people, Cleveland police said that there is no indication that he had killed anyone else as of Tuesday morning, according to Fox 8 News. The woman believed to be associated with the suspect has said to multiple news agencies that she was overwhelmed by tragedy. Steve really is a nice guy. He is generous with everyone he knows. He was kind and loving to me and my children, she told CBS News. Williams said police have spoken to the woman and she is safe and cooperating with the investigation. The woman's neighbors told CNN that Stevens often stayed at the Twinsburg home with her three young girls. One resident said Stevens was there for two days ago, fixing the home garage. <sighs> okay, where do I start with this ignorant shit? Let me start with the, the girlfriend. She said that Steve really was a nice guy. Nice guys don't go around killing people at random. A nice guy does not walk up to a 74-year-old man on Easter Sunday who's just trying to get home and shoot him in the head for no reason at all. And I'm going to tell you something else. It's something very fishy about her comments. And I think she's trying to really shake She's trying to shake the uh, attention off her some kind of way. Or uh, she's trying to protect his, I was going to say legacy, but this motherfucker ain't did nothing to have a legacy. So, But she's trying to shake his reputation. She's trying to save his reputation. She said he's a nice guy. He treated her and her family well. But in the video, he said that Joy Lane, who is the female in question, that he's doing this killing because of Joy Lane, because Joy Lane treated him bad. He called her a bitch. Basically said she was no good. So somebody lying. And as much as I hate that dude, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she's the one that's doing the lying. She's not telling the whole story. Because I'm going to tell you something that I know about human beings, and I know at, from a man, manly standpoint. A man can almost take anything. He can endure a lot of setbacks. The dude said that he was financially strapped. He said the girl drove him to gambling. <laughs> he said that she is the reason why uh, he's... In a, in a basically messed up position. He was basically saying that he's out of options and he snapped. 
men can recover from almost anything that life throws at them if they're in a relationship and the woman that they're in that relationship with has their back. Let me say that again. If a woman got your back, because I'm going to tell you something, most of the things that we do, we do for women anyway, even just getting up, going to work. Some people won't admit that, but think about it. The grind. There's so many dudes right now that's dead and in jail behind women. You, you, it, it, it ain't funny, really. So if a woman has a dude's back when he's down on his luck, when he's at his worst, when life throws him that curveball, if he know this woman got his back, he don't mind living to fight another day. In most cases, he will fight another day. But if he's, he feel like he's out of options, his life is going down the toilet, and the person that he sleeps next to also has betrayed him or given up on him, then that's when he's likely to lose it. That's how uh, a lot of these guys lose it. This is when they get to that point. When they get to that point, they ain't got that back up with that woman that they so-called love. And that's what he said in the video that I had aired early, I posted earlier. He said that he was in front of the, the woman's job, parked out in front of his job, and he said, yeah, that's that's Joy Lane. That's where she works at, you know, the, the love of my life. He called her the love of my life. So he killed an elderly man because the love of his life was not acting right or didn't have his back when he felt like he needed her most. He said she drove him to gambling. And I think he said something about drinking too, but whatever it is, she ain't drove you to shit. She didn't drive him to shit. He drove his damn self to drink. Because no matter what somebody do to you, you need to make sure that you're always in control of your own mind. Make sure that you're proactive and not reactive. You know, at some point, if you take, if you find yourself drinking too much just because you're in a bad relationship or whatever, you, you need to take responsibility and get your ass up out of that relationship. Okay, maybe she had to drove you to drinking a couple damn drinks. Or, uh, you know, maybe you was drinking a week or so. Or maybe you even drunk for a month. But at some point, you got to catch yourself and say, whoa, I'm tripping. I'm starting to drink and I ain't never drank before. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do this before I met this girl. This is a bad habit. I think I better cut her ass loose. See, that's what a sensible person would do. And that's what a sensible person would think. So this dude right here, he wasn't, he wasn't wrapped too tight. Now, a lot of people talking that stuff about mental illness. Man, mental illness ain't got shit to do with this. The dude said by, by his own admission, he said that he snapped. So snapped and being mentally ill is two damn different things. Mental, being mentally ill, that's an ongoing, that's an ongoing uh, uh, experience. People mentally ill for years and decades. This dude, like he said, he snapped. So stop blaming that shit on mental illness, man. Stop trying to blame everything on mental illness. The, 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 the most messed up part about this is that it would have been cool if he would have offed himself before he killed anybody else. I mean, the bastard killed himself at the end of the day. He still killed himself. So why not kill your damn self out the gate? Why go and put something like that on your record? I wouldn't want something like that on my record. I wouldn't. Okay, let's say I did snap and I start killing. 
I don't want on my record that I killed an innocent 74 year old man for no reason at all. I don't want that on my record at all. But you got a lot of suck ass motherfuckers out there. They don't think about that. I almost wish he had shot himself and screwed it up. Maybe shoot him, shot himself and he didn't die. But he had permanent brain damage and, and he just died a slow death from the complications. That, that, that would have been righteous. Still, him just dying and bam, it's over just like that. But one of the cool things about him killing himself is that the family ain't got to go through court. They ain't got to go through no trial, no long drawn out trial and relive all this stuff. They don't, they don't have to see this played out like a circus in the public eye. So that's a good thing. And as far as dude saying how much people didn't listen to him, didn't care about him, he said, I'm always helping people. Nobody want to help me. At the end of the day, your whole fucking life was lived in vain. Because even if even if somebody remembers you, I, which I doubt, I doubt, but even if somebody did remember your ass, they will remember him as a coward. He will be remembered as a coward. And rightfully so. The only thing I would add on the, on the front part of it, I would preface it with a sucker-ass coward. No more talk.